Hello! I gotta make sure I look right there. And of course I can't. So my eyes always look like they're going like this. But, uh, hey Dixie. Uh, haven't put a video up in a while. It's first part of September. Will's gone back to college. Teresa has gone back to teaching school. Clay is still working, welding, uh, but this week he's gone off to Louisiana, uh, which there's a tropical storm fixing to come in down there, but uh, I don't think he's going to be affected by it. His job has him down there uh, doing some work. He'll be there for, uh, I believe, a couple days or maybe a week. So, Teresa actually has meet the teacher night tonight, so I'm kind of home by myself. I got the yard all mowed, weed eated, edged, fed the dogs. Uh, so I'm going to try and upload a video. And this video is going to be about the 1948 uh, Lincoln SA200. Uh, we have a few projects going on right now at the house. Uh, the boys have been helping a friend of mine with a, uh, a well, I'll just say it's a piece of equipment that is green and yellow. And uh, they've brought it here to the house now. They uh, had to do some work to it uh, to get it where they could actually get it here. I don't know if you can see in the background back there, but there's the SA200 right back there and Dixie but uh, yeah so I'm here by the ha here at the house by myself I've got my work done I'm actually gonna go and try and upload a video and I'm gonna upload a video about that welder uh, but uh, again we have a piece of John Deere equipment that uh, I'll be uploading a video about uh, that the boys have been working on off and on for I'd say probably close to a year uh, they finally got it to where it would run and could put it up on Clay's trailer to bring it here to uh, finish doing the work to it. Uh, and then uh, Clay's 84 model uh, Chevrolet CUCV. Clay has done a lot of work to it, and I'm actually going to put up some. I'm going to have to put up multiple videos about it. So the video you're going to see now is about the uh, Lincoln SA200 I'm a little worn out from doing all the mowing uh, but I'm going to go inside and start working on that enjoy alright so uh, we're here with Clay and his uh, 1948 uh, Lincoln SA200 welder and he has removed the head uh -huh. the head is the the pistons and the valves were actually pretty clean. He had one valve that was I stuck. Oh, you had two valves had that two were stuck. Cylinders. He got them loose, got them working. Uh, the manifold has some uh, rod in it with some holes. On the exhaust side. On the exhaust right. side. Uh, not not that concerning, but uh, you can kind of see how it's a, there's, there's a little rust, a little rub uh, inside the, the cylinders. The the this cylinder here. walls themselves are, are fine. Yeah, there there has been you can see uh, right here. There's a lit, just a little bit of rough corrosion in it. Uh, where's your head gasket at, Clay? Let's show them how how nice that head gasket was. Where's the head gasket? All right. So this is a head gasket. It's actually a a good uh, metal head All gasket. Metal gasket. Uh, it does not appear to have any damage. Nope. Uh, it's got some dirty spots. Clay's gonna go ahead and clean this up. Throw this on. Uh, throw the head back on. And the head really looks good too. On the yeah. Side. Oh, I haven't seen the bottom side of the head. <laughs> That's not bad at all. Yeah. It's not bad at all. Uh, it's gonna throw it on and uh, see if we can make it fire off. Uh, and then if we can make it fire off and run just a little bit, see if uh, if the generator is actually putting anything out. Uh, for the welder, uh, before he invests a uh, whole bunch of money yeah, into this. I'm going to start off with a $300 manifold, yeah. vibrator rebuild kit. And yeah, the, the first thing, that manifold down there. Hey, pick that manifold up. Let's see the, 
Let's see the little rot hole that's in it. I can probably patch. Oh, that and there's a, this ear right here where the bolt goes. Okay. Gone. Yeah, the ear there is gone. It's but you can see out. You can see that, that hole right there uh, that's rusted out. And that's right underneath of where the uh, exhaust pipe threads into. Uh, so, but let's see if you can throw it on and make it run. And then uh, see where it goes from there. We're gonna see if uh let me see if I can get it in the in the picture here. Woo! We're gonna see if this thing runs. Oh, they're moving it. Yeah, okay. So I got intake. 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 Hose a little bit in each one. Oh yeah, there you go. Crank it. I don't know what I'm doing. I need to spark this. Yeah. Oh. I got to figure out where I need. All right. So they are so desperate to try and get this to run tonight before we go to bed that they've come out here in the dark to remove metal off of the metal sawhorses. And they're going to. Here comes. Here comes one. Here goes one metal sawhorse. Here comes the other one with the light. Yep. There he goes. Right there. Got to have the metal saw horses to put a to put an 1100 or 1200 pound uh, welder on. Or he has a panic attack. Well, yeah, I, it's too late. I've already had the panic attack. Now he's the, panic attack with me. the fact that y'all are dangling 11 or 1200 pounds no. from my roof. All right, we're done with it. Okay, quick, put it on the saw horses. Oh, yeah. All right. Belly aching. Hey, well, yeah, after I get down the saw Yeah, let's put it on the saw horses. Here's a flashlight right here. Now that I got it up here where Oh, you got a cover off of it? Yeah. Any dead critters in there? Well, there's remnants of uh nests and all I see is a baseball hat yeah. and a flashlight and a glove. How long has it been since you think that cover's ever been off of that? No clue. Oh, wow. Yeah, something's been There's living. a bunch of crud down in there. Something's been living in here. Should you blow that out before you try and crank this thing up? Yeah, it's at the bottom. It'll hey. all blow out. All right, y'all tell me what you're doing. All right, well. Other than sucking in gas fumes. <laughs> well, we got a little, little funnel rigged up here with some fuel. I decided to go ahead and put the manifold carburetor back on it. It is dribbling fuel out because this thing hasn't had fuel in it forever. Okay. Uh, but it was but extremely clean. <laughs> it was extremely clean for a uh, for a forty seven model. Forty eight model. Yeah. Forty eight model. All right. Well, we'll see what she'll do. Let's see how hard you got to crank this.
Fuel. Of course, your your fuel tank's kind of small. It's, it's that red funnel. But man, it sounds good. Yeah, I got a kill switch on now after the incident we had earlier. Well, tell us what you've done with it since since the last video that we did with it. Tell us tell us what you or the last little video clip I took. Tell us what all's new with this. Okay. It's got uh, brand new plug wires. Okay. It's got a brand new manifold. No, uh, no, a big hole. old hole. It's got a short uh, stack with a resonator pipe in it. Which I will say, it's it's actually pretty quiet. Uh, I have since put a kill switch in. It works. Didn't have a kill switch. Before. Oh, okay. Right there. Awesome. Off the menu. Awesome. Change the oil filter, which is oil filter down there. Yeah. It doesn't look like it's leaking oil either. No, it looks like the front mains leak a little bit at some point, but it ain't It's not right dribbling now. on the ground. Oh. Uh, rebuilt carburetor, which I had took it to a carburetor shop and I rebuilt. Okay. Awesome. Do you do anything with the magneto, anything with the points? Uh, no, all that was super clean. I didn't even clean the points up any. Everything was all good there. Awesome. So I didn't even touch any of that. Man. Uh, new radiator hoses, because the other ones were just brittle and fell apart. Yep, and the radiator's hole, it's full of full of fluid and it's holding it's not leaking just one is that a new radiator cap so it's the one that was on it and earlier today it probably was at 5,000 RPMs on the radiator and it all held together so it was it ripped out way further than it should have been this is unbelievable, and it's welding. Is it welding right, or are you having issues no, with? No, I'm gonna have to. I've got to find some information on how to adjust it. Okay. Awesome. There's something up with the idle, which I need to go to a non-contact tachometer. So I know what kind of RPMs it's actually running to set adjustments. On it. Cool. I wonder how long it's been since it actually ran. There's just no telling. But it, it runs good. I wonder why they quit using it. Is that what it works? Maybe because it was old and outdated. And they went to a newer... In its hand crank. In its hand crank. <laughs> yeah, and they went to a newer unit. So it just got set off to the side. You're leaking here. No, it's running from up there. That's gonna rock.